Oh, he's on fire. You watch him go. Guys, welcome back to an episode of Minecraft. As always, this is Jason, and we're down here in this room that Arcus made. You guys remember it? With the I guess there's just a piston there. I was gonna say with the gold and the diamond. Um, for those that watch, dude, fuck off with the thunder. Uh, for those that watch Nebris's live stream, you'll know that. He stole my egg, man. Look at that. Left a piece of coal in his place. Just to, just so you might just think it's there. I had smooth stone here like this. And, uh... Yeah. Not anymore. But... <laughs> I watched his live stream and I saw where he stuck it. So we're gonna go grab it. And we're gonna look at his house. Because he's got a pretty cool house. Um, Jesus, man. Literally. Um, so, no Minecraft yesterday, uh, actually, it depends on when I get this up, there might have been a Minecraft yesterday, <laughs> uh, I might get this up tonight, and that's what she said, or he said, or somebody said, somebody said it, I wonder if sticky pistons will work, it might not, I might want to, uh, I need to make a regular piston, which I don't, I can't remember how to make, because I suck at this game. Uh, so yesterday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, 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 uh, Saturday, I spent my day driving to Wilmington Beach and back. Oh, man, I thought I saw a creeper in there. I guess it was just the flower or something I was seeing there. Um, and got a new car. And this is probably going to be a short episode because I've recorded a video showing off the car and showing off the stuff I got in my P.O. Box. I wasn't able to, uh, I didn't have time to record the P.O. Box stuff the other night. Uh, instead, uh, I put a, put a clip of the, the baby in there. And, I don't know, I guess he's talking to Arcus. <laughs> uh, and a lot of people said that uh, I got the baby in the P.O. Box. And <laughs> it was funny. Uh, one of the comments which really made me laugh was, uh, I can't believe something that cute came out of Goode's penis. <laughs> uh, what a great comment. Um, anyways, I'm going to I'm going to make a piston. And I'm going to make my way over to uh, uh, <laughs> Neighbors' house, and we're going to see if that egg is still in place. I've read about a bug that makes it disappear when placed in SMP, and I'm, so I'm kind of worried about the egg, because he actually placed it, um, but didn't put it in a chest. So hopefully it's okay. I'm just making sure I have a piston already made. I don't think I do. I don't know, I don't know, I just use my sticky pistons for everything. Um, so yeah, I'll be back to you guys in a minute. Alright, everyone saw it. There were some pistons in that chest. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey again, I didn't make it Nebris' house. Um, when I stepped in my portal right here, I noticed there was a block missing right there. So I dug in the wall here, and it goes around like this. I wonder if Nebris was looking here for the egg, too. <laughs> uh, he probably was. I, I don't know. I just felt they need to record that in case something prank-related happens here later or something. I don't know. It's weird. Um, close this back up here. Alright, I will see you guys again at Nebris' house. Hey again. Right, I'm over here at uh, Nebris' house now. I wanted to go ahead and just record from the very beginning in case he shows up and tries to kill me or, uh, or you never know. Uh, plus, uh, it's been a while since I've been to his house, so there might be something worth seeing. And I'm probably going to fail at getting to the surface because I honestly don't know how. I think maybe it's from the very center of the whole thing. But I'm not certain about that. Um, so yeah, more a weekend here, and it's been it's been a busy weekend for me. Um, we went and picked up the new car. Uh, we took we took our daughter to the aquarium, which was a lot of fun. Um, I mean, you might think she's a little young for that, but uh, think about think I think I've noticed about children is they really like TVs, and we've been you know making sure that she doesn't watch really watch TV. Um, at a yard sale we went to, we got, uh, we didn't actually buy them, but somebody gave us, 
like we bought a bunch of stuff from this couple, and they gave us a bunch of Baby Einstein DVDs, and it's this it's these really strange DVDs. Now this is this is an epic build. It's like get a life, man. <laughs> Oh uh, man, this is it's just crazy. I, I, w I wish I had the time that he does to build such things. This is crazy. Um and it looks even crazier from like the outside, like a three perspective, like the the way these 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 pillars of obsidian. I mean, who who the amount of time it takes to form that much obsidian is just absurd. Stop being absurd, Nebris. Um anyways. Uh these baby Einstein DVDs are really just very strange. It's like <sighs> And I've watched it a couple times. Um, there, there, there's no, there's no like, there's no like storyline or anything. It's just like, which there may be in the future ones. Like I'm, I've only watched the very first one, of the series. Um, but there'll be like a chicken, or a guy in a chicken suit, or a girl, someone in a chicken suit, walks by the screen clucking, and then there'll be like some balls bouncing, and there'll be like a Rube Goldberg machine. Like just all of these different things, and then there's music playing in the video at the same time. But that's it. I mean, it's just why is it always raining on this goddamn server? Um, but that's 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 the extent of the these DVDs. It's just really strange to me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that it really helps kids. I suppose it makes them geniuses, genii. Um, I uh, I don't buy it. But uh, it doesn't really matter what's on the TV. Every kid I've noticed, like when I would take my daughter to the doctor to get her shots or something, I've noticed that uh, every kid that comes out, I don't have enough materials, man. God damn it. Every kid that walks out of, out of the doctor's office after getting their shots, the first thing they do is turn their head to the TV and watch the TV. Um, like the moment they walk out the door. And uh, I've noticed this. Okay, I guess there's not. I was hoping to uh, to grab some materials from him. I don't want to die. Please don't let me hit anything. Oh, God, that was scary as hell. I think there's enough water down there to land in. I'll see some chests down here. I'm going to steal some of his stuff for uh, for climbing. Some climbing materials out of him. Uh, I like dirt. I, like, I prefer dirt. <laughs> I'm, I'm real picky about how I climb. That's enough. I'll take a, take a little cobble too, just in case. Um, so yeah. Anyways, the aquarium, you know, all these fish tanks. You know, they're they're lit up. They're basically these big, just big ass TVs with fish in them. So you know, she was all about that. And uh, we were gonna take her out to the beach, but it was so hot, and um, you know, she's got fair skin like my wife, and. <laughs> Some people, after seeing her, her, the little clip I put over in the last video, decide that my wife is Asian because of my daughter's eyes. But my daughter's has the same eyes as mine. I have like Eastern European eyes because I'm Polish. Um, so anyone that it's weird people, uh, people all the time like in that, in, for instance, in that video, they're like, "Oh my God, I saw Good Hand, Good's hand." It's like, dude, there's so many <laughs> videos with my whole body in them. <laughs> Why are you so excited about my hand? Uh, you know, it always. It always blows my mind to think about people that are new subscribers only watching new content. Because I know for me, whenever I go to a channel that interests me, I watch everything. I start at the beginning and I watch it all. I mean, if I if I like someone, I'm just like I'm, just, I'm just I'm, I guess that's just how I am. Um, if 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 I like something, I really invest in it completely. But I know everyone's different. Not everyone has the same amount of time. So, it just uh, seems weird to me. Okay, where'd he stick this thing? I saw it in his live stream. It's it's on the edge of one of these. It's really hard to see though, because it's black. Oh goodness, that's that's a scary mess right there. And it might not be this one, dude. I don't like that. I'm closing it. <laughs> I'm here to fix your shit. Keep going up here. I don't think he put it on the way on the top of it. It seemed like he had more height to go whenever he placed it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't see it up here. Now I've, I told Badge that I've, uh, I've, I've, I swear I saw a bug in the wiki saying that uh, in S&P place decks will disappear if it's not in the end. But he says he couldn't find that, so hopefully Badge is right. That's why I had a chest. I was so worried it was going to disappear. And I wasn't trying to keep the egg for myself. Uh, Beef has got an idea, and he told me just to hold on to it until until the time is right. Um, so I've just been holding on to it until the time is right. And you guys are going to enjoy what uh, Beef is working on. My little secret project that I talked about the other day, and people started guessing what it was. It doesn't. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not the same as what. That's what Beef has got going on. He. uh... He's got something that I don't, I don't I don't I don't really know how to talk about it without just blowing it, so I'm just probably gonna shut up now. But uh, the thing I'm working on is just a just a long-term project that I've been playing a lot of Minecraft to work on. Oh my god! Uh, uh. Well, you can keep that dirt, neighbors. You've been pranked. <laughs> You did tear my house up, so it's only fair. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna heal up before I go up there, I think. Dude, fuck this rain! <laughs> I keep trying to jump on those half slabs. It's, it's never gonna work. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever. Should have watched more closely whenever he came up here in his live stream to see which one he went to. And how high he went. <laughs> I will block every one of those off. I swear it. I don't see this egg. It was hard to see in his live stream too though. I keep looking like really closely at these obsidian blocks to make sure I'm not overlooking it here. Yeah, there's, there's no egg up here either. He could have moved it after he stopped streaming too, because I mean he is not an idiot and he knows that uh that I could just easily watch his live stream. And see the location. So if it's not up here, he may have moved it, but hopefully he'll be honest about that, so we'll know whether or not it actually it actually is bugged and disappears. We'll see if it's up here. If it's not, then I ever overlooked it at a different one, or it's gone. And when I say going, I don't necessarily mean like going for good. He could have just moved it, like I said, somewhere else. Oh, thank Jesus. Oh, it's so much more quiet now that this stupid rain stopped. Yeah, I don't see it. It's definitely not up here. So either he moved it, or it's just gone, or I overlooked it. One of those, one of those three things are the things that are possible. Man, this I don't know how I don't know how people build something this 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 high. It makes me nervous just being up here. Can't do it. Can't handle it. All right. Um. Hmm. I don't know where to go from here as far as the egg's concerned. Because this his base is way too big. I'd have to uh wait for one of you cheaters out there to find it like uh like he did. <laughs> he didn't cheat to find it, someone told him where it was at, but I'm sure they used a cheaty texture pack to find it themselves. Because I mean who goes around just digging up every single wall until you find it? That's just crazy talk. Um Well, I'm gonna get
guess we'll get out of here. I started to have one more look up here off camera. There's one we were just on. I just want to let the dirt on. I was going to take one more look without the recording. And yep, there it is. I uh, probably just overlooked it from. Well, no, you can. No, you can stand on the thing. It counts as a block. But man, it looks. It blends so well. Let's close that shit up. Oh, my ear itches. Alright. So. Let's make sure we don't mess this up here. Um. Breaking the blocks around it doesn't affect it, right? Okay. Alright, let's give it plenty of room to get pushed. SB double I would say is about to get a push job. Whoops. Alright. Let's get the piston here. like where the fuck did it go all right egg again um and neighbors can keep all this stuff <laughs> uh telling you it's not griefing bastard came to my house and stole my well not my egg beef's baby i'm just babysitting so it's all fair and loving babies Fuck you too. <laughs> Alright, now then. You know what, I'm just gonna take the slow way just so I don't die. I would hate to die with this this baby in my hand. Oh, man, I wanna go down and show you guys this thing from the outside though. Sometimes I've thought about uh, going into creative mode just to show you guys some stuff, but I know if I did, then from that point forward everyone would just accuse me of cheating, so I've never done it. Uh, people seem so shocked that Zisto does these intros where he is way up in the sky and stuff, and they don't they don't understand how how it's possible, and they just assume that he goes into creative mode, but that's not possible. Uh, and so then there's been some speculation that we're helping him out by putting him in creative mode, or I am. Um, but none of those things are the case. He's just downloading the map <laughs> and putting the whole map in creative mode, and he's making his intros. Um, so I, I don't know. I think I, I just think it's funny. Some people don't realize that. I mean, people always are commenting, asking me to put the map download up. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's up every day. Updated every day. Beef suggested that uh, he put some mycelium, kind of like, for the ground coming out of this place. And I think that, that would be an amazing idea. Like, do the whole grounds from the outside of this place and mycelium, kind of like just, I don't know, a dark plague that's spreading out into the world from Nebris's place. I mean, he's kind of like the Scourge or something, isn't he? For some reason, his place reminds me of some kind of Scourge building. Yes, here's this. It's just hideous, man. I hate to even look at it. Who builds things like this? Cheaty Nebris. Alright guys, well I have the dragon egg again. I'm not going to show you where I put it because that would kind of defeat the purpose. Um, but I'm going to take it somewhere safe. I might even take it to Beef's house because it is his egg. Hide it somewhere in his castle. And I'm not going to tell him where it's at. That might be dangerous though. You might like be using some TNT one day and blow it up. So maybe that's a bad idea. Um, but I'm going to put it somewhere not at my house this time. I think I'm going to put it somewhere away from my house just because... Uh, the first place people are going to look is my house. So, that's that. The rest of this video is going to be non-Minecraft. It's going to... I'm gonna, Everyone's asked to see to see the car uh, that we got. And also I have the, the video of the, um, the two things I've got in the post office box so far. So, I will, uh, I will show you guys that stuff. And just remember, if you do want to send something in the post office box, the information is in the description. So... All right, cheating Nebris. Nobody loves you, man. <laughs> that kind of looks like like a penis.
like inside of there, right there where my cursor's at right now. But it's not made of obsidian there. Well, anyways, um, I do have some stories. I'll tell you guys in the next episode, though. For now, that's that. I will see you guys next time. Hello, guys. Welcome to my house. <laughs> I live outside in the woods. Uh, this is my yard. That's a cottonwood tree. So they like when they grow up. It's not really about trees there. It's a loud ass something. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a motorcycle. All right. It's my wife's car. Yay, wife's car. What's the inside of it? There's a the baby seat. You just like cram them in there. There's nothing else to it. <laughs> All right. Here's the new, the new, the new vehicle that is not technically practical for uh, a parent to own. Um, we have uh, we have plans <laughs> to uh, uh, to get um, a Jetta, a Ford, a Ford car, as well. Is the plan at least? Um, we're gonna probably trade in my wife's car and uh, go from there. But I decided, or well, I, I shouldn't say I decided, because it was definitely a a group decision um, that I would probably be uh, <laughs> I would be I would be driving more without the baby than uh, than my wife, um, just because I do a lot of stuff on the weekends like a uh, grocery shop and stuff like that where uh, the baby's not with us so um, we want to keep one two to, to our car uh, and this car is big enough that uh, that she could still you know that we can still get the baby in and out of uh, it's just a matter of um, wanting a four-door car as well eventually all right anyways there's me yay me all right first thing I want to show you guys this is I, I, I did not know this existed uh, if you have the key, and the key's in my pocket right now, you can lock the car just by touching the door. It's ridiculous, right? And then when you put your hand, do you hear it unlock? In between the door, it unlocks. That's as long as you have the key in your pocket, pretty much. All right, here's the interior. Uh, shut the door. All right, start her up. Oh, wait, I would pull the brake down. As long as the key's in your pocket, the car starts. As long as the key's in the car, I should say, not necessarily in the pocket. Um, and here's the uh, the interior. That's Michael Jackson. He's in my car. <laughs> uh, I don't have my cell phone with me, so it's going to be searching for my cell phone for forever. Um, I really don't know what I want to show you guys. Um, there's no media available because I don't have my phone with me. Um, one of the things I don't like, <laughs> I hate to talk about things I don't like, but uh, the iPhone plug is in the glove box. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. But other than that, I don't have any complaints at all. Um, it's got all the stuff you need on your on your steering wheel here. It is a turbo, so that's fun. Um, probably should uh, get rid of Michael Jackson here. It's got satellite radio as well. I don't. It's on John. That's just as copyright as Michael Jackson. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> uh, here's the sunroof. I've never had a sunroof before. Uh, first car with a sunroof. Here's the back seat. It's not very really big. Um, I think that was my gym membership. Just joined the gym. I uh, I haven't been my high school weight since high school. <laughs> Back when I used to uh, actually work out on a regular basis and play football, etc. I've uh, been busy, but finally found a gym with childcare. So uh, I'm going to get back into 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 my my old shape that I was in. Um, basically, I think I pretty much described a midlife crisis. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going through a midlife crisis there, I promise. Um, there's some squirrels. Where the hell'd they go? 
Are they still there? Oh, there he is. <laughs> this is a new thing I'm gonna do. We're just gonna watch squirrels. <laughs> Let's watch squirrels. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's really about it. Um, I don't know what else to show. I mean, there's all kinds of cool stuff. It's got, like, you know, the navigation type stuff. But, I mean, all this is... Well, here, because I gotta turn it back on. Let's get rid of the sound there. Um, I guess I could've just hit mute. Uh, yeah, navigation. All the stuff is standard with most cars now. Um, all the stuff on the steering wheel, like I said, you can see it up here uh, as well. You can get all your all your good good stuff up there, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that's about it. I think it's got the Fender uh, audio system. We got a guitar, a Fender guitar, as a result of buying a car with the Fender audio system. That was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, the coolest things is, to me, at least, from the progression of cars in my lifetime is just the technology aspect of it that I wasn't expecting, you know, the whole, you know, you can use your phone, again, my phone's not with me, so it's not, it's not, it's not working, um, but, you know, there, uh, hand, hands-free stuff with the, you just hit the thing and... There is no phone connected. <laughs> and it tells you, your car tells you to fuck off, um, yeah. That's about it, I think. Uh, some people were saying that the Beetle is a girly car. Now, that's not true. <laughs> or if it is, I don't really care. Uh, I don't know if it's because one of the first cars that we had, hey, let's go for a drive. Um, when I was a kid, the first car that we had was a Volkswagen Beetle and it was uh, it was orange and red and I don't know a lot of a lot of my earliest memories like I remember it's kind of kind of funny that Michael Jackson was playing whenever I cut on the car because one of my earliest memories was going somewhere with my mom and dad and listening to the Thriller album on an 8-track in in the Volkswagen um, Camera's moving. Uh, and it's got some good get up and go. I mean, it is a turbo. As you can see. Uh, <laughs> so that's always fun. Um, but yeah, one of the earliest memories is, is, you know, just driving around with, you know, in, in the Beetle. I remember my mom used to go and uh, pick vegetables in my uncle's fields and uh, I remember when I was really young climbing up on the top of the beetle and uh, oh there goes the camera again <laughs> I, need, I, need, I should have brought my tripod it would uh, definitely sit still in the tripod um but uh oh every time I turn there goes the camera this, this is not safe <laughs> luckily I live in the middle of nowhere so there's no one else around um but yeah I remember climbing up on the top of the car and there was like a bunch of trees above me. I remember jumping up and grabbing a branch and <laughs> uh, the branch broke and I fell off the car. And then it's all, all I remember is like hitting the ground and thinking I was dying. I was really young, I was probably like five or so. And I, I remember my mom coming and running out, you know, to me because I sounded like I was dying. Um, and then whenever they announced the new Beetle in the late 90s, uh, I remember seeing it at a car expo and thinking, I would, I just, oh my God, I want this car. And uh, I mean, flower vase and all. And whenever I graduated from fucking car, or turns, camera, uh, <laughs> whenever I graduated from high school, the fact my girl was willing to, uh, to buy me one was, I don't know, it, it, was, it was amazing. Um, flower vase and all. Uh, I remember I used to take my uh, my ex 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 girlfriend <laughs> several exes ago. I used to drive her to school in it, and because uh, she was a couple grades behind me, and uh, she'd always put flowers in the flower vase. Uh, but unfortunately, that car uh, I ended up 
a lot of stuff happened. It's it's uh, it's a long story and one I don't really feel like telling. But uh, I, I pretty much stopped driving um, for several years, and so. I still have that car, but it's it's sat for many years, and eventually I plan on getting it fixed. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with it once I get it fixed. I, I, I what I'd like to do is fucking camera. I'd like to get it fixed and uh, then just let it sit in the garage or something uh, just to keep it because it's still. Uh, it still means something to me, I guess. Uh, I still have an attachment to the car because I've, I've had people offer me like a thousand dollars to buy it, um, which I guess is probably worth more. But since it's sad, it's going to need some work. Uh, you know, the oil and stuff would have to be changed. Um, but anyways, something like whenever I, whenever I see these Beetles, I've always I've always been attracted to the car. Uh, and to me, I mean, I don't think any, I mean, there are there are girly cars, I guess, but I don't see this as a girly car, quote unquote. Now the flower vase in the, in the previous model, I could see it, um, but I remember whenever they announced this model, and again, this, this attraction to this car, <laughs> I need to find a straight road. Uh, the attraction to the car was, you know, I, I immediately knew I wanted it. I didn't think I would, uh, it'd be something that would be possible uh, but with uh, with some changes and stuff like that uh, in our life, it uh, it has been uh, possible. So, anyways, um, I think that's about it. I just want to say that uh, I really like this car. Hey, look, there's a rainbow. You see the rainbow? <laughs> uh, what does it mean? <laughs> uh, I've just, uh, it's not a double rainbow though, so it's not, it's not really, it's not really the same. Uh, well anyways, this is the video of my car and I've taken you for, on a drive through the country. Um, so, I do appreciate you guys watching, as always. If you watched, <laughs> if you're here, I guess you did. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Hey, again. One more thing. While I'm uh, recording these things, um, I have here mm, some stuff I've got in the post office box. First one is a Farlands or Bust postcard from Kurt himself. Uh, as you can see, it's the Canyon of Woe. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Woofy there saying woof. And a uh, little message on the back from Kurt. Hey, it's good. <laughs> uh, I had a few of these postcards left over from sending them to Farlands or Bus donators. And figured I'd send you one of these to your fancy new post office box you got. So thanks for having me on the Minecraft server and thanks for killing me <laughs> twice at UHC. Thanks a lot. Indeed, Kurt. <laughs> Alright. The first one. Second one here. Uh... I will not show his address so you no one kills him. Um, I've already opened it just to make sure. My, I had my my servants open up to make sure I didn't die. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, first off is the letter. It says, "Dear Good Jason, um, hey, I hope you like the picture. When you said you had a PO box, I had to send you something. I made it in World Geography because World Geography is dumb and pointless. It's not pointless, man." You might need to know where Switzerland's at sometime because apparently if you're talking about Switzerland while walking to the house of someone owned by Sweden, people confuse the two. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm a huge fan of, of the Minecraft and UHC series, but then again, who isn't? I really wanted to color the picture for you, but I only had a few colors and I, I didn't want to make the colors odd. Sorry, I'm the shadows are making it hard for me to read here. Um, <clears throat> hope you like the picture anyways. Thanks for reading. If you did, and of course I did. <coughs> um, it means the world to me. Keep up the awesome job and videos. Hope you and your family is doing awesome. That should be R, man. It's it's R doing awesome. Not to, not trolling you. Just, you know, <coughs> English is important too. <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying here. Um, Alright, 
So I guess I'll stop writing. Go watch season five, episode four of the Ultra Hardcore. Don't stop doing what you're doing, ever. See you, good. One of your biggest fans, Jacob. All right, and here is the picture, which is awesome. We got a skeleton over here on a computer with the Minecraft logo on it. I'm walking in the house here to so get a life. I uh, got uh, Bo sitting there. So yeah, thank you very much, Jacob. I really appreciate it. Uh, so far, that's the only two things I've gotten in the post office box. But if you guys send me more stuff, I will definitely show it off. So that's about it for this this here video, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Always on fire. You watching? Yes. <laughs> you know your diamond shit just got Explode out of them from all sides.